Well, of course, our state's most high-profile race, the contest for governor. Democrat Wes Moore and Republican Dan Cox face off tonight to take Larry Hogan's place as Maryland's top politician. We have Paul Gessler and Avajoy Burnett covering both candidates vying for that top spot tonight. Let's begin with Paul. He's at the election night event for Dan Cox in Annapolis. Delegate Cox voted on election day morning at an elementary school in Frederick County. He says he's touring polling places across the state before an election night party tonight in Annapolis. He voted alongside his wife, and he said last night his kids were out putting up campaign signs. Now, Delegate Cox is here in large part due to his support for and endorsement from former President Donald Trump. He does not have Governor Hogan's support, who said he would not vote for Cox, who made a name for himself as a delegate criticizing the governor's approach to COVID. Cox pitches himself as a check on the Democratic-led General Assembly. His message down the stretch centers on the economy and crime. And without our voice in the governor's office, you will have no balance in Maryland, and you will not be able to have your voice heard because it'll just be the party's rubber stamp decision. So my voice will bring leverage and balance for everyone's voice. Now, fundraising and polling shows Dan Cox is a significant underdog in this race. He's been trailing Wes Moore by double figures in all the polls leading up to Election Day. And he's also been out fundraised by Wes Moore 10 to 1. Governor Hogan has carried Anne Arundel County in both of his gubernatorial elections with 66 and 68 percent of the vote. Those are numbers that Dan Cox is going to want to see if he's going to pull off this upset. Reporting in Glen Burnie, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.